Hello everybody and welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart and in this lesson we're going over Science Book 4, Lesson 5, Habitats. Habitats, of course, are places where people or animals live and plants, of course, as well. In this lesson, you will discover various kinds of habitats. Of course, there are many different types of environments or places where living things live. We'll talk about those. We'll also talk about the differences between freshwater and saltwater habitats. Okay, so let's get started. Our first word for the lesson is tundra. Tundra is a very interesting habitat. It's a very cold habitat. It's large, it means very wide. You can see forever. It's all the same. It's flat, not really a lot of mountains or hills or valleys, just flat land, very cold, no trees grow there, and usually it's covered with snow or ice. Sometimes in the summertime, it might warm up and you get some plants that will grow, but most of the year it's covered in snow and ice. It's a very cold and bleak and maybe a little depressing habitat, but many animals do live there, so that's tundra. Next, we have woodland. Woodland, of course, is a land that many trees grow on because wood means many trees. If there's a wood, wood means forest, many trees. So it's an area of land on which many trees grow. Most people uh, live around woodlands in Europe and Asia, North America. Uh, there are many woodlands and most, so most people live near trees. Of course, woodlands are a little bit cooler than jungles. Jungles are uh, like woodlands, but they are in hot, humid environments. Woodlands are usually more northern or southern, and they're cooler and not as humid. Okay. Habitat. A habitat, of course, I just uh, mentioned that at the beginning of this lesson. A habitat is the home of an animal or plant. It's kind of more of a scientific word. A more uh, casual or friendly word is home, right? What's your home? You could say, uh, well, my habitat is an apartment. Of course, that sounds a little strange. Don't say that. that you're being a little scientific when you do say that. So, but habitat just means your home or the home of a plant or animal somebody's home. Salt water. Salt water is of or found in water that contains salt. Okay, but basically salt water is uh, most of the oceans in the world, or all the oceans in the world, many seas are salt water. Why are they salt water? Because uh, the accumulation of salt, especially from rivers and uh, from all the runoff from the land, uh, that water has a lot of salt in it. And of course, there's also a lot of salt in the water naturally. So most of the oceans, if you taste the water, it is salty and you can't drink it. You cannot drink ocean water because it has too much salt in it and it's not gonna do your body any good to drink it. Uh, a famous sailor once said, you know, sailing on the ocean, he said, water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. <laughs> Right? So if you're sailing on a boat, make sure you bring fresh water with you. You can't drink salt water. Of course, the opposite, fresh water. Fresh water, we can drink. Whew. And fresh water is very refreshing, especially on a hot day. So fresh water is of or found in water that does not contain salt. And most rivers and lakes are fresh water. Uh, you see a, a picture here of a man on a, a canoe or kayak and uh, he is paddling what looks like in what looks like a lake. And of course many lakes inland in, in like the continent or inland uh, you have a body of water, small body of water. We call those lakes, ponds are smaller. Those are fresh water. And most of the water that we drink we get from lakes or reservoirs or streams and rivers. Okay. Moist. Moist means a little bit wet. 
Sometimes you have the baby wipes, you know, the mul tissue in Korean, mul tissue. Uh, mul, of course, means water. Um, and those are moist. They, have, they contain a little bit of water in it. They're a little bit wet. So if you, if you just get a tissue, right, uh, cle like Kleenex, you know, that's dry. But if you get a baby wipe or mul tissue, that's wet. So the, the baby wipe is moist. It contains a little bit of water. Of course, it's much easier to clean things, your face or the table, or whatever, uh, with a moist uh, tissue than it is with a dry tissue. You usually have to put some water on the tissue if you want to clean something. Okay. Coat. Are you wearing a coat? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully it's not cold where you are. But a coat, of course, is either something that we wear when it's cold, but we can also describe the animal's fur as a coat. Coat is the fur covering an animal's body has. And of course, we, have a, we see a picture up here of a polar bear. A polar bear has a very thick coat. It's a very thick hair and, of course, a little bit of uh, some skin and fat that keeps the polar bear warm because the polar bear lives in the tundra in very cold areas. Of course, our dog, she's a beagle. I feel sorry for her in the summertime because she's covered in fur and it's very hot and humid in the summer. So she has a coat. She can't take off her coat. Poor doggy. Whenever we're at home and the air conditioning is on in the summertime, she's always under the air conditioner because she can't take her coat off. But okay, so coat, fur covering, an animal's body has. Okay, those are our words for the lesson. Now, what are some kinds of habitats? We talked about that. Uh, I said you will discover various types of habitats. And in the um, vocabulary section, we talked about some of these. First of all, we talked about tundra. Tundra, of course, is up north, really far north or southern areas where it's really cold all the time. And uh, it's flat. You know, in this picture we have some, some hills, but usually flat. And not many trees will grow there. And it's uh, usually covered in ice or snow. That's tundra. Next, we talked about woodlands or woodland. And, of course, that's a nice area where many trees are growing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's in the forest Many forests uh, cover many parts of the earth, and uh, woodlands are nice places to live, actually. We also have desert. We don't really talk about deserts, but deserts, of course, you know from pictures. The most famous desert in the world is the Sahara Desert in northern Africa. It's very dry, so dry that there are no plants. Plants can't grow there because there's no water, so it's just sand. Some animals do live in the desert. And very interesting animals, but uh, usually you don't see them during the daytime. They might come out at night when it's cooler, but desert, of course, is very dry and just covered in sand. Okay, next we have a lake, and a lake is an example of a fresh water habitat. The water there is fresh, and of course, this looks like a nice, beautiful mountain lake, so a nice body of fresh water. And of course, oceans. Ocean is the next type of habitat, and of course, oceans cover most of the Earth's surface. So if you're talking about habitats, ocean is the most common type of habitat because of the area that it occupies. Most of the world, most of the Earth is covered in oceans. So when you're talking about habitats, ocean is the biggest, <laughs> right, by far. Okay, so these are different types of habitats. Let's talk about freshwater habitat versus Saltwater habitat. So how are they different? Or what kinds of different animals live in these two different habitats? Animals in a freshwater habitat are usually frogs. Frogs will live in freshwater. Uh, beavers. Beavers are very common in freshwater. They make their dams in rivers and they make small ponds or lakes because they dam the river. And they'll make a little pond and that's where they live. And then they hunt uh, for their food. They get their food out of the pond and they have their little home in the dam. Beavers are really interesting animals. Okay, and then we have carp. Carp are a type of fish, and a lot of people will keep carp in, uh, uh, I think they're in koi ponds, I think you call them koi ponds, and even in buildings they'll have them because they're interesting fish, they're very easy to take care of, they're colorful sometimes, and uh, they'll keep them in like little, you know, you go into a very fancy or expensive building, and sometimes they have a little pond in the lobby, and you can see fish uh, 
swimming around in there, they're usually carp. Of course, you can have other fish, but usually they use carp. Okay, those are animals in a freshwater habitat. What about animals in a saltwater habitat? Well, we have dolphins. Of course, dolphins are famous. They're friendly. They're actually uh, very friendly animals. They're very intelligent animals as well. And they live in the ocean, so they're saltwater uh, animals. We also have jellyfish. You gotta be careful around jellyfish, uh, especially in Australia. Uh, but anywhere in the world, really, jellyfish um, are very basic, primitive forms of life, and they're usually in the first few feet of the water because they're up near where the sun is. They want to get the sunlight. So if you're swimming in the ocean, be careful of jellyfish. If you feel something stinging your arm or even your face as you're swimming along with a mask and a snorkel, sometimes you get the, the little pricks or the little, uh, it hurts a little bit. You're like, what is that? Those are little strands of jellyfish because they're very poisonous. Some jellyfish are really poisonous. They can, uh, they can, uh, they're very dangerous. But yeah, just be careful of jellyfish when you're out swimming in the ocean. Okay, and then finally squid. Squid are amazing creatures. They're really cool to find or to see underwater. Uh, and they, of course, just live in the salt water. Okay, so animals in freshwater habitat, animals in a salt water habitat. Okay, let's do the reading together. And the reading, in the reading, we will talk about different types of habitats and some of the animals and plants that grow there. Are you ready? As usual, try to read along with me. Focus on pronunciation and also on the words that we learned in the vocabulary. Here we go. A tundra is a very cold habitat. There is a lot of snow in the winter. Plants living in the tundra do not grow very tall and they grow close together. Tundra animals like polar bears and wolves have thick coats to keep them warm. A woodland is a habitat that gets a lot of rain and has many trees. The soil is moist. Many producers and consumers live in woodlands. If you remember from the previous lesson, we talked about producers and consumers, right? Producers are usually plants and consumers are all types of animals. Many producers and consumers live in woodlands. A desert is a very dry habitat with sandy soil. It is very hot in the day and very cold at night. Few producers or consumers live in deserts. There's just not enough water. Okay. The ocean is the biggest habitat. Many types of salt water plants and animals live in the ocean. They have adapted to live in the ocean. Lakes are freshwater habitats that are on land. Freshwater plants and animals live in lakes. Okay, that's our reading. Let's take a look at how it's organized. The reading was organized on the idea of classify. In other words, to put things into different categories or classifications to describe them. And of course, this reading passage was about many different types of habitats. So we can classify these different types of habitats and talk about the characteristics or what they are like. We can describe them. Okay, so first we talked about tundra. Tundras are very what? And polar bears live there. Okay, well tundras of course, as I said before, are very cold. Tundras are very cold and polar bears live there. Polar bears can live there because they have thick coats. So they, the cold doesn't bother them so much. Woodland is our next type of habitat. Woodlands have a lot of trees, obviously, because they're woods, they're forests, trees, and the soil is what? A lot of rain has to fall there in order for many trees to grow. So the soil is wet, the soil is moist. Okay. Next we have desert. Deserts are very what habitats with sandy soil. Nothing really grows in the desert. There's no plants because there's no water. So deserts, if there's no water, it is very 
dry. So, deserts are very dry habitats with sandy soil. Then we have ocean and lake. Now, ocean and lake, what's the difference between the ocean and lake? We talked about this quite a bit. In the ocean, salt water plants. So, salt water, salt water plants and animals live in the ocean. And in lakes, what's the opposite of salt water? Fresh water, fresh water, fresh water. So freshwater plants and animals live in lakes. And that's the difference. Of course, salt water has salt in it. Freshwater doesn't have salt in it. And that's what we call it freshwater because of our own bias, right? We can drink it so it's fresh. We can't drink the ocean water so we don't call it fresh. We call it salt water. But to animals that live in the ocean, hey, that's where they live. They drink that water or they, they use that water for their own bodies. So to them, salt water is fresh water. So it's kind of interesting, you know, thinking about your, your perspective on things. So, but as far as humans go, ocean, salt water, lakes, rivers, streams, fresh water. Water usually that is on land. Okay, well, those, that, that's our uh, lesson for today. A interesting idea to think about the different types of habitat. And of course, the world is, you know, it's a big world and there's lots of different types of environments, lots of different uh, natural types of areas. You know, you have deserts, you have woodlands, you have jungles, you have tundra, and many places are very beautiful. And each area has its own types of animals and plants, and people who live there have their own ways of living to adapt to the environments as well. So it's very interesting. Think about the world. Think about the, the many different places you can go and the different types of environments, habitats that you can experience. It's fascinating. Okay, anyway, that's our lesson for today. Hope you learned a lot, as usual, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.